Welcome back to the Land Tamer channel for part four of the series on passing the CCI routing and switching written exam. This is about evolving technologies for the CCIE and CCDE. And as you know, this is common. This portion of the exam is common as 10% of the written exam on all tracks. So, and of course it is about, uh, it is, there are three sections in the topics, cloud, network programmability, <clears throat> excuse me, IoT, Internet of Things. So what can I tell you about how to pass this part of the exam? Good luck. <laughs> you know, I wish there's more I could say, but more than any other portion of my experience with this exam, it's about luck. Um, I do applaud the endeavor, you know, by Cisco to keep the exams up to date, keep them modern, it was nice to be able to tell people, you know, or, or people ask me, you know, about the, <clears throat> excuse me, the CCIE writing exam. Like, is it still um, current? Is it still important? And in particular in my job, like this last year, I switched to a cloud team. So, yes, I'm still doing networking, but my main job is cloud enablement, right? And execution. So DevOps, Agile, Scrum. Uh, that's that's what I do every day. Uh, so it was nice to tell people, yes, about this exam. Well, hey, Cisco's, you know, they're keeping it real. They're keeping it modern. They're adding a lot of these technologies are actually part of the topics covered in this exam, you know, and they just updated it in August, last August. So it was nice to be able to say that. But I am very critical of the execution of this endeavor and i'm gonna s try to save as much of that as i can for another video which is uh going to be a feedback video and it's not officially part of the series because this series is all about trying to help other people pass the exam right respecting nda etc um so take this with a grain of salt but it's it's hard okay this is such a game of trivial pursuit in this section and it is 10 percent of your score so i mean it doesn't have to be this way but just i don't know what the percentage is well i know it's 10 percent of your of your score but just imagine 100 questions maybe you'll get 10 questions you know um about evolving technologies honestly i don't know exactly how they score things and Take all this with a grain of salt because I did really badly at this, um, especially my last two attempts. Now, the 70 score, you know, we, I mean, we all know you get a score exam results from Cisco uh, when you complete the exam. And myself and a lot of others I've talked to, we don't fully understand how this is done. I don't know that we give necessarily, at least in my view, in the other sections, a lot of credence to how, you know, I don't really understand how they come up with the scores, the scoring in percentages on some of the other sections. This one's probably close to realistic, though, I would say. Uh, I felt like I did really well on the first attempt, which is, again, Evolving Technologies 1.0. And the last two attempts, though, one of them was 1.0. The last one was 1.1, which was the recent August update. I got 40%. Um, and I studied hard for the CCIE CCD. As a matter of fact, for the evolving technology, as a matter of fact, uh, a study buddy and others were like, man, I've noticed you, you've been vlogging about your journey and you're spending so much time on these evolving technologies. Like, why aren't you spending more time studying BGP or OSPF? And I was like, I know, right? <laughs> Why am I spending all, and it's because the second attempt, getting the 10, left me just shell-shocked about evolving technologies. And I felt like, man, I mean, I just need to study so hard for this, but I don't really know what to study. And I still don't know, I still can't really tell you exactly what I think you should study. I can tell you what I studied. And I can tell you what I, my opinion of those different materials is. 
And like I mentioned, I mentioned these in the last video, which was materials, but this is particularly for the evolving technologies because it crosses, like I said, all the CCIEs and CCDE. So I'm going to go a little more in depth. But I will say one, definitely must read and was extremely helpful to me. It has been updated for 1.1. Uh, Nicholas Russo's Evolving Technologies Guide. Before there was an official certification guide, there was Nick Russo's guide. I used it prior to the first exam when I got the 70. Um, it, it's really good, uh, and it's free. I think you can contribute, uh, donate for the effort uh, to appreciate the content, and I'm sure that would encourage Nick to keep it up with great with subsequent Evolving Technologies upgrades, so I've actually done it myself. I mean, because I, I, I value it. I'm not saying that just to... I mean, I really value, and I think it, if he released it in book form, I would buy it uh, for sure, and all its subsequent updates. The official certification guide, on the other hand, I respect the authors and what they contribute to the community and the content. I will say, this is a good read, the official certification guide. It is, uh, I've got it up here. However, if you've seen videos that I've posted about this in the past, do not go and buy this off of Amazon for $96. This is not a $96 book, in my opinion. First of all, there is overlap, right, in, in terms of sort of content coverage, but it's a very short read. Like, you can, in an afternoon, Saturday afternoon, sit down on your couch and you can read through it pretty quickly like it's great covering some of the basics sort of introducing you to these topics but it does not go in depth to you know what i thought it should like some of the other certification guides and some of the other you know like the ccie writing and switching um, official certification guides for the rest of the material it's not on par with that i don't think Again, the material is written well, the material that is there. But it, it's funny, you know, there were some complaints that by others on Twitter and things, uh, blog posts about why there is no printed copy available of the book. Well, I'll tell you why. Okay, here's a printed study book, right? Right under here. Okay, this is TCPIP Illustrated, right? I don't have a printed edition of the official certification guides, but I have seen them. Like, they're thick Cisco Press books. All right, this book would not fit. I don't know that they could print it, a hardcover. Of course they could, like, you know, where the wild things are, right? There's a, you can make that into a printed, you can bind that into hardcover. You could with this as well, but it's a brief read, folks, and it's not anywhere of the depth that I was expecting. But if you have it on Safari Books Online, yes, absolutely, go read it. The content that is there is good. It's a great introduction, I think, to the topics. Um, but you're going to need a lot more, in my view. And that was my approach, especially after fail number two. Um, Cisco has a good list of recommended learning resources, I applaud them for this. Uh, this is good. This is on the same link that I put here. And this is a page where it has, it has 1.0. I don't know why, I guess they felt they need to leave that in there. But this is where I would spend my time. And that is on these links down here. Now, I have not really seen them do this. Maybe I've missed it. But I haven't seen them do this with like any other blueprint portions of the CCI exam, but they have this here for Evolving Technologies, and you can download this in a spreadsheet, which I did, and I have it in my Blueprint, um, consolidated Blueprint spreadsheet, but um, some of these links are good, I think. Like, there are, like, I think what you should do is go through these presentations. I would not necessarily recommend, like, watching all the presentations, but at a minimum, download the you know slides 
and look through them and view the presentation if you think it's necessary or if it's a topic that you're not really familiar with. I found this really helpful for me to get a better understanding of some of the products that are mentioned in the blueprint. Um, so this is good. Some of these other links I felt were influenced by salespeople, to be honest. Like, uh, yeah, the, the Cloud Dev Center. Why do I need a link to DevNet in a blueprint uh, study guide? Um, I don't know. I guess if you wanted to lab some of these things, but tell me some specific labs here. Don't just point me to the Dev Center. Uh, CCIE technical webinars. Okay, I can watch a lot of videos about the state of the CCIE community program. Um, Self-learning networks. Uh, some of these look, you know, like good courses. I've not gone through all these courses. Um, but some of these, uh, I mean, I don't know. I liked it to have a lot of the links. Like I said, I do recommend the live on demand and links. Uh, some of these other links took you takes you to product pages where you, like any customer in the world, can go through and read about a product. Very non specific. Um, so the if you were to go to every link in this on this page and watch every video and read every document or series of pages referenced, it would take you a year, I think. So I don't know. That's, that's one of the hardest things. I mean, feel free to do that if you feel like you want to take all the time. I would say stick to, like I said, the Cisco Live on-demand presentations, the slides, and then pick and choose from there. And then, you know, hope for luck <laughs> because even then uh, i swear there were things you know there are acronyms to this day that i wrote down after fails that i still have not been able to find material on in google searches like deep google searches so that's why i say good luck i wish i could tell you more that's the list of things i recommend uh, you check check out if you have any doubts or your mind about things, you can do searches. Uh, there was some particular things about uh, Internet of Things that I still was not grasping even after all this. I found a, a good video series on Safari Books Online searches. So I'd recommend you do that. And that's all I got. I mean, I wish I could tell you more, but more than any other, just hope you get good luck. <laughs> Thanks so much for checking out this part of the series. You can subscribe to me here on YouTube and on um, Twitch where I stream uh, every day, day of the week except Friday. And you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. And of course, our next coming up part five and six are mistakes to avoid and executing your plan. Thanks so much for stopping by.